Picture a three-year-old girl, Dorothy Eady, falling down a flight of stairs in 1904, waking with a strange tale to tell. This was the event that marked the beginning of an extraordinary life. Young Dorothy, a seemingly ordinary girl from England, started to recall vivid dreams of ancient Egypt, her fascination growing with each passing day. She claimed to be the reincarnation of an ancient Egyptian priestess, a claim that was met with both skepticism and fascination. It was her unwavering conviction that led her to move to Egypt, leaving behind the familiarity of her home country. There, she delved deeper into the mysteries of the ancient civilization, her dreams serving as her guide, her passion as her compass. This was just the beginning of Dorothy's extraordinary journey, a journey that would challenge our understanding of life, death, and everything in between. To comprehend the magnitude of Dorothy's claims, we must journey back in time to the early 20th century. This was an era marked by an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and a fascination with the untrodden paths of the ancient world, particularly Egypt. The mysteries of the pyramids, the hieroglyphs, and the rituals of the pharaohs stirred the collective imagination, prompting a wave of archaeological expeditions and scholarly pursuits. This was also a period when spiritualism and metaphysical inquiries were gaining ground. The veil between the seen and the unseen was being questioned, and ideas about consciousness, memory, and life beyond death were stirring the pot of intellectual discourse. People were not only interested in the physical remnants of the past, but also in the spiritual and metaphysical aspects of ancient civilizations. Now, imagine the life of Dorothy Eady unfolding against this backdrop. A British woman, born and raised in a society where the line between the scientific and the spiritual was becoming increasingly blurred. Her extraordinary claims of reincarnation, her vivid memories of a past life in ancient Egypt, were not just personal experiences. They were part of a larger, societal exploration of time, existence, and the boundaries of human consciousness. Dorothy's life and work intersected with these two major currents of her time, the fascination with ancient Egypt and the exploration of spiritual phenomena. She was not just an observer of these trends, she was a participant, an active contributor, and in many ways, a living embodiment of these cultural and intellectual pursuits. Her life, as bizarre as it might seem to some, mirrored the zeitgeist of her era, a time of exploration, curiosity, and a willingness to question the established norms. It's in this historical and cultural context that we begin to see the full picture of Dorothy Eady, a woman who dedicated her life to the study of ancient Egypt, not just as a scholar, but as someone who believed she had lived during the time of the pharaohs. Dorothy Eady, a woman of her time, yet seemingly from a time long past. Beyond the mystical claims, Dorothy Eady was a woman of intellect, contributing significantly to the field of Egyptology. This is an essential facet of her story that often gets overshadowed by the reincarnation narrative. But it is in this scholarly realm where Edie's passion for ancient Egypt truly shone. For starters, her academic work was nothing short of astounding. Edie had an encyclopedic knowledge of ancient Egyptian rituals, languages, and temple layouts. She could discuss hieroglyphs with the fluency of a native speaker and her understanding of Egyptian mythology was so profound that even seasoned Egyptologists were left in awe. Her expertise was not merely academic, it was experiential, as if she had lived through the epochs she studied. And then, there were her collaborations with archaeologists. Edie worked closely with several prominent figures in the field, sharing her insights and knowledge freely. She was instrumental in the discovery and preservation of numerous antiquities, her sharp eye often spotting details that others missed. Her contributions extended to helping archaeologists interpret findings, decipher texts, and understand the nuances of ancient Egyptian culture. But perhaps her most lasting contribution to Egyptology resides within the walls of museums. Eddie was instrumental in curating and developing collections of Egyptian antiquities at various museums, including the Cairo Museum. Her careful curation brought ancient Egypt to life for countless visitors, enabling them to connect with a civilization that existed thousands of years ago. Edie's dedication to sharing her knowledge extended beyond the museum walls. She also authored several books and articles on ancient Egypt, further broadening the reach of her expertise. 
Her writings continue to inspire and educate, serving as valuable resources for those interested in this ancient civilization. In the end, Dorothy Eadie's life was a testament to her profound love for ancient Egypt. Her quest for understanding was relentless, her contributions significant. Her influence on the study of ancient Egypt, undeniable, her knowledge, inexplicably profound. Every extraordinary claim invites skepticism, and Dorothy Eadie's story is no exception. Indeed, her narrative of being an ancient Egyptian priestess, reborn, has raised more than a few eyebrows. While her tale has fascinated many, it has also been subject to a raft of criticisms and alternative explanations. One of the most common theories put forth by skeptics is the concept of cryptomnesia. In simple terms, cryptomnesia is when forgotten memories resurface and are mistaken for new, original thoughts or experiences. It's possible, critics argue, that Dorothy's detailed knowledge of ancient Egypt could be a result of cryptomnesia. Perhaps she had been exposed to information about ancient Egypt at a young age, forgot about it, and then later recalled it, believing it to be memories from a past life. Another criticism leveled at Dorothy's reincarnation claims revolves around the power of suggestion and the influence of her early childhood interests. It's well documented that Dorothy was fascinated by ancient Egypt from a young age. Skeptics argue that this fascination could have shaped her experiences and memories, suggesting that her past life memories were not so much recollections of a bygone era, but rather a product of her vivid imagination and deep-seated passion for ancient Egypt. It's also worth noting that human memory is notoriously unreliable and malleable. Memories can be influenced by a variety of factors, including our emotions, the environment, and even our expectations. This inherent fallibility of memory leads many skeptics to question the authenticity of Dorothy's past life memories. Finally, some skeptics point out that Dorothy's reincarnation claims conveniently align with her personal interests and ambitions. Could it be that Dorothy's narrative was less about a spiritual journey and more about a means to an end? a way to gain credibility and access in the field of Egyptology? These are all compelling arguments, and they add important layers of complexity to Dorothy Eadie's extraordinary tale. A tale of reincarnation or a product of the mind? The debate continues. Dorothy Eadie's tale opens up a realm of questions about consciousness, the afterlife, and the possibility of reincarnation. The spiritual and metaphysical implications of her life are vast and varied, with her experiences resonating with many spiritual traditions around the globe. In Buddhism and Hinduism, for example, the concept of reincarnation is deeply ingrained, suggesting a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth governed by karma. Edie's claims, viewed through this lens, could be seen as a manifestation of this cycle, her past life memories indicative of karmic ties to ancient Egypt. Yet it's not just Eastern philosophies that resonate with Edie's narrative. Even within the realm of Western thought, there is a growing interest in consciousness studies, exploring the nature of the mind and its potential independence from the physical body. Quantum physicists, for instance, have proposed theories suggesting that consciousness may not be confined to our brains or even this reality, opening up the possibility of its continuation after death. Moreover, the field of psychology has delved into the exploration of past life regression, a therapeutic technique that uses hypnosis to recover supposed memories of past lives. While controversial, some researchers argue that these experiences, whether actual past lives or symbolic narratives, can lead to profound personal transformation and healing. Contextualizing Dorothy's experiences within this broader discourse, we see a convergence of spiritual beliefs, scientific theories, and therapeutic practices. Her story thus not only challenges our understanding of life and death, but also invites us to reevaluate the nature of consciousness and its potential transcendence beyond the physical realm. As we grapple with these profound questions, we are reminded that the mysteries of existence remain largely uncharted, with the life of Dorothy Eadie serving as a testament to these enigmas. Her narrative, steeped in the past yet resonating with the present, urges us to explore the boundaries of our understanding, to question and to seek. Her story, a gateway into the mysteries of life and death. Dorothy Eady, a name etched in the annals of history, continues to provoke thought and curiosity. Her life story, 
a tapestry woven with threads of mysticism and historical intrigue, serves as a gateway into the enigmatic world of reincarnation and the afterlife. We've journeyed through her contributions to Egyptology, a field she enriched with her profound, often inexplicably accurate, knowledge of ancient Egyptian rituals and languages. We've navigated the waters of skepticism, where questions arise about the veracity of her past life memories, and whether they're the product of cryptomnesia or a childhood fascination. We've delved into the spiritual and metaphysical implications of her claims, exploring the nature of consciousness, the journey of the soul, and the potential continuity of life beyond death. In the end, Dorothy Eadie's story challenges us to look beyond the confines of our understanding, to explore the possibilities that lie in the realm of the unknown.